Hello, uh, Michael Keneally here again from the Ilkley Happiness Centre. I've just made a YouTube about rune workshops, talking mainly about the first rune of the Norse alphabet, Feu, the principle of wealth. Now I thought I'd just do a little introductory YouTube to tell you about the runes and the North, Norse people. And in fact, if you want to read further, do buy my novel, Rune Magic, which is available now on Amazon Kindle. Basically, the northern peoples, the Germanic peoples, uh, migrated northward through Europe a couple of thousand years ago. And uh, the Norse were the people who conquered and uh, progressed the furthest north. And legend has it they were led by a magnificent warrior god, Odin. Now, Odin was aware that there's a terrible prophecy that the Aesir gods, of whom he was the leader, would not survive. And he went to great lengths to try and secure magic, to avert that destiny. And one of the things he did was to seize the magic of the runes. Legend has it that Odin hung upside down in the world tree Yggdrasil for nine days and nine nights, his side pierced, in agony, in trance, and on the ninth day he fell screaming from the ash tree. But he had seized the magic of the runes, where each rune is not just a letter of the alphabet, but it's actually a state of consciousness and a magical key for getting power around that state of consciousness. Um, of course, the, the, the Norse were conquerors and their magic was those of a warrior people, but in fact, it grew more rich and powerful than that because Odin made links with the people they conquered in the very northern lands, the Vanir, who had a very intuitive and psychic, ma psychic magic. And of course they also discovered shamanic peoples. So the magic of the Norse remains today a powerful tool for transformation.